A few days ago, I found this mechanism in Grand Illusions channel. I found it so fascinating that I had to make one. In this video, we will see how it works in the different configurations that the mechanism has. I made it with what I had available, some Jenga blocks, wooden rulers, plastic tubing, wire from paper clips, and a bit of imagination. Tim's mechanism has a fixed distance between the axles, but I made my version variable to see the effect on the movement of the mechanism. The first configuration of the mechanism is when the output axle is aligned or is collinear with this pivot. And in this case, it behaves in this way. The mechanism is a reduction 2 to 1. That is, for every two turns of the input axle, the output axle only turns one. Let's see. One turn and half a turn here. Two turns and a full turn. Let's see again. One, two. So the speed of the output axles is half of the speed of the input axle. But how is that possible? The interesting part is that the output axle has not a constant speed. In this position, the speeds of the two axles are the same, but the output speed is going down, slows, until at this position it becomes zero and then increases again until we reach again this point where their speeds are the same. So this speed, the output speed, varies from zero to the speed of the input axle and the average is half the input speed. The second configuration is when the two axles are collinear. In this case, we have a one-to-one -one transmission. Both axles turn at the same constant speed. The third and final configuration is when the output axle is below the pivot. In this case, the motion is in this way. The output axle does not turn, but only has an oscillatory movement. As a mechanical engineer, I love all kinds of mechanism. I hope you also like this one. 